All right, you guys, woo! We're ready to get started on the Snova again. I am going to just rip it today. I got a couple hours till the kids get out of school, so this is my time to shine. Woo, it's either late at night or when they're in school. That's my only time I get, so. I'm gonna go ahead and go over this with a guide coat, which would be just a fine mist of black spray paint. Um, I'm gonna sand it down after that, and it'll show me all of my high and low spots on this body. Um, my friend Jay came over and he helped me spot out some dents and dings that I didn't see before. Thanks, Jay. But anyways, yeah, let's get rocking on this thing. Let's do this guide coat, sand her down, and see what we got to work with. All right, guys? Woo! I noticed some spots that clearly need to get sanded and primed again. You want there to be enough black for sure, but not too much to give yourself a lot of extra work. So, do what needs to be done, but just don't overdo it. Okay, you guys, so I got that part done. I got the guide sprayed down. Nice layer of black all the way around that bad boy. Now I am MacGyvering a type of sand block here. I just took this piece of wood and stapled some sandpaper on it. It's 80 grit. Um, you could use 100, whatever you want, but I'm just gonna go with 80 because I'd like to speed up this process. I am not too worried about it being a pristine job, you know, but I am wanting to make it great. So I'm gonna do what I can in the price range that I can and just hope for the best. Let's rock and roll, people. All right, so as you can see, we got a little, uh, all the low spots are still black. Right there, right here. And then we got some of these good old things up on the top that you can't miss, but my little sander block isn't working out exactly how I had planned. I mean, it probably would be easier with something flexible. I just don't have the funds to be running and getting freaking sander blocks like that, you know? So. We'll do what we can do. And then if you look down here, these are all the low spots. So, and you can clearly feel them too now. But when I had done the first layer of primer, I mean, it looked pretty good. But now you can clearly see uh, the spots. And I mean, they're not too bad. I'm not like completely disappointed, but I mean, just gotta do a little bit more work. That's how that goes. That being, didn't even know that was there. Dang. But hey, that was my first time like trying that, like with the guideline, like paint, you know? Um, pretty cool, ain't gonna lie. Um, now I'll just go through, see uh, what's bad enough to try and pull, you know? And then what I should just say, you know, screw it on or what I should try and f use filler or bondo on. Um, <clears throat> yeah, pretty pumped with that though. Good work. Woo! What's next on the agenda? <sighs> mm. 
Next on the agenda is running around picking up kiddos. She is totally my daughter. <laughs> Poor girl. Taking a little time to get the back half looking as good as I got the front so far. So, as far as I can tell, everything looks pretty good. This, I am not going to fill up on. I'm going to see if somebody has one of those little stud gun thingies that you try and pull it out with, with a little hammer backwards. You guys know what I'm talking about. I just can't think clearly right now. But it is late, and I'm going to keep rolling on it just because there's still a couple hours left in the night, so... Might as well. I've been going all day on this puppy, so keep it rolling. I'm gonna go ahead and just fill all the little ones that I know can handle some filler and they'll just be just fine. And yeah, I was gonna hit this one and try and get them from the inside, but there's like a uh, dual panel right here and then you know i was like i could get up in there i got tiny arms but there's like this steel beam running all the way across right where i need to get to so that's a bummer but i'm just gonna get rocking on the spots that i know i can fill um in one of my earlier videos uh, my dad taught me how to do this so i've never done this before besides with my dad i'm just gonna wing it i know he's here with me and psh, you know, let's let's hope I get the right hardener ratio because he always gave me crap about that. So let's make dad proud. Whoop. Let's do this.
I'm gonna sand it down. See what it turns out looking like, feeling like. First of all, by the end of this, I will be like a semi-professional, I believe. Um, yeah, because I'm going to be doing it a lot. <laughs> no, but really, we all know where I messed up, right? I used way too much because I was like setting up cameras while it was like hardening and I like didn't think that one through all the way, you know? So, I was rushing. And I just, you know, I laid too much down. That's how that went. But I fixed my mistake. So I got rid of it all. Except all of the low spots. I mean, it was just really hard for me to be like, oh, this little spot needs, you know, the lighting was just bad. I stepped right in front of the light. So, but legit, guys, <clears throat> those were all the low spots. And now she is running clean. No, but really, I am going to... I'm going to have to do a couple more spots that I found. And I found this spot. See that ding right there? I did not see that. Did not see that. So, I got a couple more spots that I'm going to throw some Bondo on. I might get started on the roof. The roof is going to be the hardest, so. But. Mm. Then I got to reprimer everything again. Do it again. I think I might just use the light technique. Just holding a light down the side of it. And, like, you can see the shadows. Like, it's a good technique. It seemed, seemed to work when I just did it. So I got to cut this video short, unfortunately. But it started hailing. Welcome to Colorado. My first ever, pretty much ever, besides my dad that little bit, um, Bondo job here. I learned a lot of lessons today. I learned a lot of stuff. I learned how much hardener to really use, and thanks dad for the advice. Um, he told me that no matter what glob you have of um, Bondo or filler, um, the hardener should go three quarters run a strip three quarters of the way across your puddle. Not all the way across, not halfway across, but three quarters. And stepped in front of the light to put it on, um, trying to film and all that. Um, I couldn't see, I couldn't see my spots anymore. So I just laid it down, not to waste any, you know, but it, ma it made some more work for me. So I learned that lesson. Um, you really just want to work with a little bit right where you need to and make sure you can see your spots where you're going to lay it down for sure. But after all was said and done, man, she is just, whew. it feels so good. I am just, man, I'm actually thinking that I'm going to sand down all the rest of this primer and get everything, you know, make sure I get every single spot that I want to get um, and get it all nice and flush because I don't want to lay primer and have to blend it around all this primer. And, I mean, it feels really smooth. There's no like, you know, hard edges or anything, but I'm just not sure, so. I'm, I also might second guess myself on that and not do it. I might do it. I don't know yet, but but right now, man, I'm just so impressed with how smooth this all came out and that giant dent right here that I was like, oh, I can't get it out. Guess what? It's gone. <laughs> so I'm I'm th just thrilled. That's super exciting for me. Um, definitely had Dad's presence out here with me, helping me because yeah, I wouldn't have figured it out sure as heck did one way or another so anyways there's more to do but like I said I gotta call it a day right now because I have to pull the cars back in I do not like seeing the L get wet like at all you know period so rushed and threw everything down and hurry up and pulled her in wiped her down because I was starting to repair the top half um, when 
dad was still sick, so. There is raw metal up there, so went ahead and wiped her all down, and so she won't rust, but I do need to get rolling on that too. But I got something done, and I learned something today. Oh, it's so refreshing, and it feels so great, like, to get out here every single day. Even piece by piece, what little bit I can, I'm gonna do it. I am just dead set on getting this thing done this year, so. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me. It's always fun hanging out with you guys, man, and all the support and love. I say this every time, but it's true. I'm just so happy around you guys and excited that you're excited to see me get this project done. And I am not gonna let you guys down, so that's for dang sure. Anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic evening and I'll catch you around next time.